How do I look? Is it all right? Hold that, boys. Hold that. Yes. It needs to be better. It needs to be sharper. We push ourselves to get better and better. Preseason's been good. The first couple of weeks we were in Queretaro, Mexico. We were kind of locked up in our in our hotel and just focused on training. So, you know, it's tough being away from families, not being able to do much, but we went down there with just a focus and uh, to get ready for this year. And now we're in Orlando and, you know, we're quite excited. We got a couple new guys coming in as well. So the group's starting to come together. It hurt a little bit seeing them not do so well last year. So that's what, you know, kind of talking to Robin, I want to help out this year and, and make sure we get back to where we belong. Incoming wise, biggest name, clearly the first defensive DP in Rapids history, Andreas Maxu. He is a DP, high profile, cross league. People are excited about this guy. He's coming in as a day one, lock it in starter. No doubt in my mind. Yeah, looking forward to, to train with the guys. Yeah, meet everybody. Play some football. Play some football. Let's go. I would, I would never call it soccer. Yeah, that's, that's fair. <laughs> We've heard it from all the fans of Bronby. They're really excited to see him go. We're really excited to see what the future holds for him. It's historic that he's coming in because he's the first Rapids defensive DP, and I'm really excited for that. Uh, I'm uh, excited to, to be here. Hopefully we're gonna win a lot of games, that's the most important. And, and hopefully also, also uh, win the, the MLS. It's gonna be uh, fantastic. So we just want to make sure managing regains is a thing that we'll have to start talking about and recognizing that as we are busting our to win the ball, when we do win it, if we can get to goal immediately, we do. If not, we have to secure it. Okay, because when we have it, it's when we get a little bit of a rest. We get into our positions, into our shape, and we get a little bit of a rest. That way, when you lose it again, you've got energy to go. Or when we break them down, you have energy to get to goal. So we really want to think about managing regains and keeping it, and rewarding yourselves for all the hard work that you're putting into winning. We want to get pressure to things as quickly as possible. Again, the sooner we get pressure, the sooner we get the ball back, the sooner you get a chance to score a goal. That mentality has got to stick with you. Early on, don't let them get out, right? Don't let them get out. You want to get them under pressure. Don't let guys face forward. Get to things we need to get to. Really good. Good stuff, Tom. Good day, boys. Well right. done. Well done. Thank you. Uh, straight over. Yeah. Well, that's good. You like the cold from Canada, yes, sir. They're a super talented team that you talk about winning and having that winning drive and that sort of thing. They've been so successful over the last six, seven years that those players are all full of confidence. And we know that in order to get a result there, we have to be really good. 
We have to be really good. We have to be really engaged, really dialed in. Uh, but certainly playing Seattle in Seattle is never a simple proposition. The players are walking out. The MLS anthem is playing around Lumen Field and they are doing the Viking clap all around us. Looks like it's going to be a pretty full Lumen Field. Seattle Sounders, the champions of North America. They won CONCACAF Champions League, first MLS club to win. So we've got two teams that are going to have a couple of chips on their shoulders. Both of them going to try to set the tone with their performance tonight. And we are underway. Glad to have you along here for MLS Season Pass on Apple TV. Russ not able to get away with it for a moment. Seattle will clear. Yapi, the youngster, up top onto his right foot. Oh, and he pings it off of the crossbar. It's out wide for Seattle, just outside the box. Eyes up, ball in, rolled on, header down, save, second one. Finds the back of the net, and it's 1-0 Seattle. Abubakar heads it backwards, Lodero knocks it in. Now Abubakar, and then Morris, and it's 2-0. Seattle, calamity at the back for Colorado. Yeah, it looked like both teams willing to attack then. Neither team really settling in, and then the Sounders were able to settle in first. Looking for Barrios, well-timed run, and it's Fry again with the save. The left paw out there, and he pounces on his own rebound. Bouncing off a couple heads, Jordan Morris finds the back of the net. Off his head last, so he has a brace. Well, <clears throat> certainly not what we were looking for, and certainly not the way we were looking to start the season. Right. You didn't show what you can do tonight. You didn't show your quality on the ball. You didn't show how dangerous you can be. And a little bit of that, I think, is just, again, being bold and brave. If we walk away and we go, you know what, we look back at the end of the year and this is the only game that we lost and lost this way, then we can live with it. But we have to learn from it. And there has to be a bit of, there's got to be something between your teeth for this week. This is not the way we want to start. This is not the way we, or not the things that we expect of ourselves. So therefore, this week has to be about being absolutely ready to go on Saturday. Both the Colorado Rapids and Sporting Kansas City looking for their first victory in this early 2023 campaign after suffering away losses in week number one. This Colorado Rapids side have been dynamite at home for years and years. Eight straight unbeaten here at Dick Sporting Goods Park. It's not been a friendly place, and of course, this early in the season, as you mentioned, both teams coming off losses here. They're gonna wanna pick up four points here. It should be a fun one. Both teams that like to press, I think early on, whoever dominates the midfield, I think will have the most success. Listen, at home, our place, we make it difficult for them. They have to deal with us, they have to deal with the altitude, they have to deal with the cold. Make it miserable for them. Play with pride and enjoy it, man, enjoy it. Move the ball and then finally be bold. Be bold in both boxes. Everything we need to do to keep stuff out of our goal and everything we need to to get goals, right? We make sure we get one, we keep pushing, we keep pushing, we keep pushing. Right? Again, show them who we are. Yeah? that needs to be said. We're at home. We know what we didn't do right last weekend. We carried on today. Use that motivation. We're at home. 
our tempo. We control the game. Hey, attacking shape, massive. And going forward, play freely, man. Let's give these people something to be excited about. Come on, come on, let's go. Win on three. One, two, three. Come on, boys. And away we go from the shadows of the Rocky Mountains, playing at altitude where the Colorado Rapids have absolutely made this place a fortress over the past couple of years, the second highest winning percentage in all of Major League Soccer at home. It's spacing at the moment for Colorado to get it to the ball over the top. It's Barrios down the right-hand side for Colorado. Running at Ben Sweat. Cross in, and it falls right to Yappy, and he's able to poke it home! The first goal of young Darren Yappy's MLS career, and it comes in the rarefied air of the Mile High City. But it was hard to tell, and Alan Chapman's gonna go to the, the, the monitor here. And that last replay. And it's gonna be waved off. Barrios diagonally through the middle of the park. Plays it back out wide. Ronan putting a cross in. And this one is bundled home, or did it go across wow. the line? There are two bodies on the floor right along the six. Play is continuing for now. Out of Barrios, that's exactly what he's getting. Here's the ball played in. It is Yappy and Pulskamp. Well, well, this is across the line. This looks like a goal to me. Yeah. And of course, they're going to review this. It appears that both Pulskamp and Yappy will be able to continue. No goal is your decision. If you're a Colorado fan, Nate, you're not going to be happy with it. If you're a sporting fan, take a deep breath here. You've gotten let off the hook twice now. Now Tommy driving at Maxu. Around Maxu. Left footed effort. Parried away. Rebound oh, shot. Shit. Saved again by Yarbro. And the flag comes up anyway. Yarbro wants credit for that save, though. This might be a good opportunity to pull it out. Tommy, he has a go, and it's parried away by Yarbrough. Rebound shot, oh, save. saved again by Yarbrough. He's got nine saves on the match now. Five minutes plus stoppage time remaining. Ball in for Shallowy. He got around Maxu, a diving save from Yarbrough again. 11 saves, and that last one might have been the best of the night. Can't get that change done. There is the final whistle. It ends scoreless against maybe all odds. Well, that man thought he had his account opener. We had William Yarbrough make 11 saves in this game, and both sides settled yeah. for splitting the point. First off, pick your heads up. Last thing I said in training yesterday is we don't lose here, and we didn't lose. Right? But just in terms of what we're talking about trying to do and the effort to get behind and the endeavor and being dangerous around the goal, we're seeing it come. Right? You create chances, you score a goal tonight apparently. Uh, so obviously it's disappointing not to get the win, but a lot of things were done really, really well. So we come out of this, you have to feel somewhat positive. Yes, there's some disappointment. But when you look at the way we're able to pin them back and the chances we're able to create both halves, really, you just keep going, right? Don't get your heads down. Lots of, lots of season left. You just keep going and keep working. We have things that we can continue to get better at. We have things that we see ourselves getting better at. But again, it's all of us. We just keep pushing, right? We just got to keep pushing. Good things are coming. Good things are definitely coming. And in terms of... Uh, Commitment and it, no questions whatsoever. Fantastic effort out there with a little bit of luck, maybe a little bit more precision. Uh, it looks a little bit different. <coughs> but we just keep pushing.